arrived at the original Stony Pond campsite to find the lean-to had been moved from the edge of the water deeper into the forest. However, I did find two boats near the old lean-to location. Storm clouds were gathering as the afternoon went on, so I made sure to make a campfire before the rains came. In the morning, the sun made a brief appearance, obscured by clouds and mist. I watched the show in awe from the back seat of a canoe. The wild blueberries around camp were just starting to ripen. Although they were very small, the berries were some of the best I've ever had. The lean-to had interesting features like this shelf holder. Since the lean-to was moved, it had been repaired and refurbished. New logs were added, new features. It also had three hand saws with varying teeth length for cutting different wood. The two boats that belonged to the campsite didn't have any paddles, but there was two branches with square pieces of wood attached to them. I guess that'll do. Now I just had to get the boat in the water for my maiden voyage. The makeshift paddles weren't so bad after all. I wouldn't trust them for a long canoe trip, but they were sufficient for a small ride around the bend. The paddles clearly weren't designed for speed either. I don't think I'll be winning any races with them. Sometimes, even parking in the wilderness can be a nightmare. <laughs> 